hello guys welcome back so today i will make use of asterisk dial plan for ivrs so for that firstly we will install few agi scripts for that move to chrome and then here search google tts for asterisk google tts is basically used uh, like suppose you want to make your ivrs speak some text so for that we make use of google tts so let's move to zap.github.io and here you can see few de dependencies would be needed so we will install it later and before it you can see here are few examples of using google tts.agi and to download it we will download tar version of this Now it is downloaded. So let's move to downloads folder. And here uh, you can see it is here. So we will decompress it. As you can see, it is now decompressed. Let's move inside this folder. Let's see what are the files which are inside it. So we will make use of this google tts.agi file okay now the other thing we have to download is php agi so for php agi you need to move to this link php agi.sourceforge.net and here you can see the version which it will support okay from here the currently released version is there and we can click from here download latest version and it will get downloaded shortly Okay, now it is downloaded also. Let's move again to downloads folder. Decompress it also. Okay, this is also decompressed. Now, firstly, let's see what are the files inside PHP AGI1. These are the files here. Yeah. We will make use of this uh, php agi.php and php fast agi.php. So we need to copy these files inside where lib asterisk because all the library files are in included inside it. So we will move, move to where lib asterisk. inside it as you can see here are no files right now so we have to copy google tts.agi and php agi dash fast agi.php and php agi.php so let's copy them instead of copying them from here we should do chmod to provide rights to that folder which is where lib asterisk agi bin okay now let's move to downloads this, this. inside here we have this file google tts.agi copy it Now move to where lib asterisk and inside agi bin paste this file. Now similarly the other one.
this and this and this also. Paste. Okay, now these files are pasted, and now we can continue building our own IVRS. IVRS is what interactive voice recognition system. So, suppose for example, we can take you must have heard uh, on your phone by dialing any toll free number that press this to talk to our representative or press this to know your balance and all. So, this all is created by using of IVRS. This all is IVRS. So, we will create it. But before that, as there are few dependencies which you have seen that we need to use Google TTS. So, we will install that also. For that, do this. Mm -hmm. APT get install. X S E L. So these are the dependencies which you have to install. Let's install all this. Yes. Okay, so all the dependencies are now installed. Now let's move to our extensions.conf file and build some new that plan. Close this. Now we don't need this. Close this also. This also. Move to our tile plan. Okay, so now we don't need this thing, remove it. And right now we don't need macro also, removing it also. And just one extension on which we will do the hard work. Suppose user presses 100 extension and now we want him to hear our IVRS and accordingly he should take action. So let's begin. These are the extensions and syntaxes so to remember how I am writing it. Google TTS dot AGI and now what we what text we want our Google TTS to speak. So welcome to 
two ideas. Choose one option. And by writing en, we define that use English language. Now it will speak options. Option would be this one. Test one. Press two. To talk to test two. And now we will define X ten as one and two. If user presses one, we have to make a call to test one. And if it presses two. We have to make a call to test two. Test two. And there are two more things. If user doesn't presses any button, so that is known as timeout case. And if he presses invalid button, then it is invalid case. So we have to define both of that cases also. So for invalid, we use I. Invalid option chosen. For invalid, what we have to do? We have to make it speak that you chose invalid option. Which was invalid option. English. And now hang up. And if timeouts. Timeout also, we have to make it speak any text so that you get the user get to know that what happened. Timed out, and after timeout, we have to hang up a call. Okay, let's save it and check how this work. Start our strip. Move to strip console. Now reload our tile plan. No. 
Firstly, let's create one new zip pair that is this two, which we have defined on our tile plan. So move to zip dot file. Copy test one and edit it to test. Now we have one more here which is test two. Close this. Shop pairs. Let's check whether the new pair is added or not. Yes, it is added. Now let's create new pair in our twinkle also. Not from here. Go from from here. Change user. Create profile. Name is test two. My IP one nine two one six zero four three seven eight. Okay, that's it. Let's check whether it is successfully registered or not. Okay, it is registered. And here also. So now let's make a call to 100 extension and see what happens. So Okay guys, so I'll continue the session in my next video. If you think this video is useful, please like this video and subscribe my channel in Confusion. Thank, thank you guys.